Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a haul video for you today. Again, I have literally just got in from work so the appearance isn't looking good. I've been at work since this morning. And the reason, I'm just moving the stuff for the haul. The reason I haven't done a video in so long is because of work and I am really, really sorry. Um, I do work two jobs and yesterday I did a 13 hour shift which was meant to be the day where the video goes up. I was still waiting for things in the post so I didn't really want to do the haul without these things that have come and then I did a 13 hour shift yesterday so it was impossible to do a video. Then today I have worked from 9 till 4 and then I'm working from 8 till 12 later on so this gap in between is my little break and I need to get it done so that's what I'm going to be doing for you today. So I do have a little pile collecting up because I haven't done a haul in so long which I have noticed like I was looking through the video the other day to see what clothes I'd last shown in that video and to see if I needed to show them again. I'm going to move this camera. Um, so yeah, my makeup's looking horrible by the way because I have just had a spray tan and yeah so that's why I'm a nice colour for once. Um, but that's why my makeup's looking horrible. I don't have time to do it and I haven't had a chance to do it. Um, so yeah, that's why it's not looking its best. I wanted to start off with the makeup side of things. I haven't bought that much to be honest, but it is payday next week and that means I need... This is the time where all my makeup has run out. It seems just all run out at the same time. Um, but in the meantime, I did buy this mascara and it's the Maybelline Big Eyes one. It's got an upper brush and a lower brush. Um, I have got it on today, so if I just come in and kind of show you what it looks like. I do really really like it. I have been getting on with it. Um, I think it's about 8 99 which I do think you know is quite a little bit for a mascara. That's the little brush for the lower lashes and then that's the bigger brush for your top lashes but like I said I am really enjoying it so if I do favourites video then this will probably be featured in there. Um, also Benefit sent me over a little package which was really cute and um, it was, well it had in, the give me brow, um, brow things. These are, I think they're new from Benefit and they're sort of brush on, I'm sure they're like brush on fibres which sort of make your eyebrows appear thicker. I have one in light medium and medium deep and I have, when I had my darker hair I was using the medium deep but since I've dyed it a bit lighter I'm using the light medium one and it's so good like I'm still using my HD brows but I'm just putting this over the top and they look really good afterwards. Also my eyebrows, I wiped them off and did them again at work and they're just not, just ignore the whole appearance today. So I'm expecting some comments on my appearance but anyway you will, I, you will, I'm just getting confused today Olivia. Um, you can get these from Debenhams, wherever else sells a benefit. I think Boots sell benefit and I think they're either £16.50 or £15.50. And I'll just get one out of the box to show you. And this is how big they are. I have got a picture on my Instagram and I've shown like a close-up of my eyebrows when, once I've put it on. So if you want to see what it looks like on, then I'll leave my Instagram down below for you to check out. And then the last beauty item that I bought recently was some St. Moritz Tan. I'd run out of tan and I haven't used this one for ages. I've been using Sunkist, which I absolutely love, and what one I've been using so the Saint Tropez because I got a set for Christmas. Um but I'm gonna go back to this. I can't even remember like what it's like when it's on and stuff, so yeah, I've been having spray tans at work as well, so I just haven't needed any tan, but I've basically run out of my other ones, so I bought this from Boots. Then moving on to other things. I have a little box of candles which is really really random I know but I've got a few candles from Kringle and you've probably seen these in my Kringle candle video and I've explained a lot about them in that video if you want to find out a bit more information um, but the candles I've got today are this one which I'll see what size this is I think this is the medium classic jar and this is in old sale it just smells really clean it's really nice smell it's really hard to describe but it smells really clean then the next one i have this one is the small colored tumbler i like this one i don't know why i just think it looks with this lid i just like this um i love the color of it as well this is in the fragrance sparkling and to me it smells like lime which is one of my favorite scents so that one's beautiful. I love that one. 
and then I have a few of these burner ones, are the burners? I think the daylights and the wax ones that you put in like the little thing, that black ornament on there, that's what I put mine in. So the flavours I have in these ones are coconut wood, which smells amazing, obviously smells like coconut, again that's one of my favourite scents. Then I have black sands, this one is again, like really hard to explain, it smells a little, a little bit like men's aftershave, which is weird but it does smell really nice. Um, this one is pink grapefruit, which smells amazing. Like, it's really, really nice. It's just really fruity. Um, this one is Baby Dreams. This one is probably one of my favourites that has been sent. It smells just like babies and baby powder, and it's beautiful. Seriously, if you like the smell of babies, <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so weird. If you like the smell of babies, get this one. Oh god, Liv, you sound like a right weird. And then the last one I have is Wild Poppies. And this one again, oh, it's so nice, so nice of these. I just don't know which one to burn first because I've been using my Overcringle candles, which I do still have. Um, I think I've got one on there as well. I don't know if you can see over there. That is vanilla lime, I think, and I think I've got about this much left. I must have had it about a year and there's still half left, which I think is amazing. There's such good um, value for money. Value for money, is that the right phrase? I don't know, that doesn't sound right, but I think that is. But yeah, Kringle Candle, I'll leave the link below to where you can buy them. I next have a few, next have, yeah, that sounds right, didn't sound right. <laughs> I next have a few little bits of jewellery from a company called Jew, Jew Shop, I think it's called J-E-W-E, -E, so Jew Shop. And it came in this cute little box. And what I have from here is, first of all, I got this bracelet, which is really, really cute. So I'm just going to try open this bag which I probably can't do because I'm used to there we go and it looks like this it's so pretty once it's on I have had it on I just put it back in the bag for this video it's got like little butterflies on and it's got like little diamantes in the middle of the butterflies it's not really showing up as nice on camera if I just sort of put it on my wrist you can see there like what it looks like on and it just looks so pretty and like delicate and then also from there I've got this princess ring. Now if you know, if you don't, if not if you know, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I really really wanted the princess ring from uh, Rom from Pandora but it was just always sold out and I was waiting for payday to come around and I did end up buying it which should be involved in this haul but it's over there. Um, but anyway that's a different story and I chose this ring from Jew Shop and it is a little princess ring. It's got the tiara with the little um, sort of crystals round and a heart. It is really, really cute and it does look nice. And I think one on each finger, princess ring on each finger, why not? They'll look cute together. Um, so yeah, they're what I got from Jew Shop. And now moving on to clothes and shoes because I have got a few pairs of shoes as well, which is really naughty. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pull these clothes over here got a pile of clothes in front of me so I'm just gonna get through them so the first place I have picked up is she inside I have two vests from here sort of like the cami sort of vests which I really like I just think they look so nice for on with a pair of jeans and a pair of heels they just look nice together dress them up or dress them down so the first one I got is this one it's a really cute print it's just got sort of pink and blue flowers all over and then that's the back of it then I have another one which I got so many questions on. I had it on on a picture on Instagram and it was the picture of um, one where I was showing my new hair anyway. And I had it on there and everyone was like, where's your top from? And it's this one. It's got little sort of daisies on with green in the middle. I think they do this in different colours as well. And I'm sure they used to sell this in Topshop and it's probably a fraction of the price that it was in Topshop as well. But I absolutely love this. I haven't worn it since because I completely forgot about it. But I'm so glad that I've found it again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be taking this away with me because I'm going to my boyfriend's on Sunday. So I'm going to take that with me. Um, I have some, oh yeah, I was going to say I have something else from shooting side. I definitely do. And it's this dress and I have worn this as well. This I have on my Instagram too. But you can't really see it that well. It's really hard to show on camera. So it looks like this and it sort of goes... You have this little cut out here of your boobs. I'm not very booby, but it does make me look booby and I couldn't wear a bra with it. Um, 
so it has this bit cut out and then it goes sort of in a cross here and then behind your neck so if you can kind of get the gist of it here this is what the top bit looks like and then it's a skater dress at the bottom and then the back is sort of just like this it's so nice when it's on like I said you can't really tell that much on the picture you can see like this top half and here so it explains what I've been trying to say but it's so nice it's really sort of elegant like I wouldn't think getting your boobs out and stuff is very elegant but I think it looks so nice when it's on, when it's, on. it's just such a nice colour as well um, so they're my bits from Sheen's side my next bit I'm really reaching over I don't know why I put them so far away I have this dress from a shop called Miss Look. Look, don't know why I'm pronouncing it like that. I think I'm French or something. Miss Lux, um, L U X E, not L O O K S. You, you know what I mean? The belt has fallen off. Um, this, this black dress, this is the front of it. So it's got like a little sweetheart neckline. I think the boobs are quite padded as well. Um, and you go down, it's just, just your average little black dress. And then the back here is cut out with this gold zip down the back. And it did come with this belt as well, which has fallen off. And it's just one of these gold plated ones. These are my favourite sort of belts. I've got one in white, which I just wear with absolutely everything. Um, and then I have a top from there as well, which is inside out. I do have a blog post of this top on with something else that I'm going to be showing in a minute. So if you want to see what it looks like on, then I do have a blog post. So I'll leave my blog in the down bar. And it's this one. It is really, really creased. Um, but they've just bought, all been in my little blogger box for ages, which means I want to show them all in a haul before I wear them and stuff. Um, obviously, I've worn them for the blog post. Um, yeah, it looks like this. It's sort of sheer on the top and the sleeves and on the bottom. And then in the middle and the back, it has sort of this fake leather panel. And then also has a zip down the back. This again, I think is one of the pieces which you can dress up or down. Um, but yeah, I do really like it. They have it in different colors as well on the website. I then have quite a few bits from Romwe which have been sent over the past, I don't know, past month or something. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show is this Barbie top and I had it on in one of my videos and someone asked me where it was from. Um, it's just a plain white t-shirt and I sort of roll the sleeves up on it. It just says Barbie across the middle. They've got quite a few Barbie things on the website at the minute. I don't know if it's a new sort of trend they've got going on on there. But they have got a few Barbie things if you're a bit of a Barbie girl like me. Um, then I have two pairs of shorts. I've been after some of these for ages and unfortunately even for me they are too small. So I'd say if you are a size, whatever size you are, go up a size. Because I've gone for extra small and that's what I usually go for and they're so tiny, wait till you see them. This is the pair of shorts. And they are these gorgeous sort of black ones with the lace on the bottom and the lace around the front. And I've been after a pair of these for ages. And they're just tiny, like even for me, like I'm really, really small and these are really, really tiny. Um, so I might have to reorder these in a bigger size, but I do absolutely love them. The lace on the bottom is so nice. Um, but yeah, they're just so unfortunate that they're so small. Then the next pair of shorts I have is these ones, which again, I love. They're sort of these stretchy ones and I'm sure they had a pair like this in Zara. It must have been last year, year before, I don't know. And I really, really wanted them and I missed out on them. So I got them on Romwe and they're this cow print, which is really cute and out there. And they do need a wash, actually. I wore these out on... Where did we go? We went out for a meal with the family and I wore these with, like, a black boob tube. And they just look really cute. I really like them. So, yeah, that's the shorts. I'm going to put them in the wash. I must have dropped my tea on them. Um, then I have this dress. I absolutely love elephants, like they're one of my favourite animals, they always have been, I don't know why. And I saw this dress and I needed it. It's just, again, it's a little, is it a skater dress I think it is? Or is it just a shift dress? I don't know. And it's just got the little sleeves on. And then all over it's just got this little elephant pattern. I just think it's so cute, it's really nice on as well. Which, sometimes I find the sizing's a little bit weird. But the sizings have improved so much on Romwe recently, apart from 
them shorts. Um, but yeah, this dress fits perfectly and it's just so cute. I think it's going to be really nice for the spring that's coming up. And again, this is a really sort of spring summer dress, but I thought I'd get it now because I really liked it. And it is this one. How can I show this? Here we go. It looks like this. So it's quite low at the front. I think I'd just wear like a white strapless bra with it. And then again, it's just another skater dress. But this is quite floaty and I think it's just really girly. Then the back looks like this. So obviously I couldn't wear a normal bra because I wouldn't want all my bra straps showing. I got this in an extra small as well. I haven't tried this on because I can't get the zip down. Like I don't know if I had something weird on my hands that day. But I still can't get the zip down. <laughs> I'll have to get my mum to do that for me. Oh, I've done it. So now I can try this on. But yeah, it's really cute. It's going to look really nice in the summer. I then have a jumpsuit. And this is from, where's it from? It's from a website called She Likes, which again, I will leave in the down bar. And I've also done a blog post on this as well. And a picture on my Instagram. Um, so if you want to see what it looks like on, then just check them out. Because it's so much easier to see what it looks like on. But it looks like this. It's very basic. It's just plain navy. And it comes, again, with this gold plated belt on it. And I like things with really thin straps. That sounds really weird. And these aren't thin at all. But... These are really thin straps on them and I just really like it, like it's one of those things again, dress up or dress down, dress, to, dress up with a pair of heels, dress down with a pair of flats and I think it's so nice. You can also put a jumper over the top of it. Yeah, like I was saying, you can even throw a jumper on either, you can even throw a jumper over the top and wear it with a jumper and it looks like a pair of trousers underneath and that's what I really like about jumpsuits, they're just really versatile. These are stuff I've got more recently so they still have their tags on. These are things that I've been waiting for in the post. Um, I actually got this top delivered yesterday, it's so basic it's untrue but it's really boring to show. It's just this little tiny vest. This was from ASOS and it was in the sale for £2.50 and you really can't go wrong for £2.50 like it's so basic and it's something that will get worn a lot. Um, they had it in black as well but they didn't have my size, they just had, um, I think it was from like a size 14 downwards. So I got that one, I don't know what size I got it in, I think I got it in a 4 because I don't usually get my tops in if I usually get them in a six, but I wanted it because I knew it'd be quite baggy. I didn't want it want it to be really baggy on me, so I got that for two pound fifty, which is a bargain. I then got two bits off misguided because they had free delivery, and I did. I've been wanting these for ages, um, and I finally had this one back in stock in my size, so I got it. And it's this bodysuit or body whatever, and it's just plain black. It's I don't know. It's quite low at the front. It's quite I don't know. Let's have a loop. Yeah, it's probably quite low. And the back looks like this. It's got really, again, really thin straps, which I just think look really nice. Um, and it's crossed over as well, and it's all doubled up. I think it was £15, which is quite a lot, but I do really, really like it. The only thing I struggle with these sort of tops is I can't wear them with jeans or disco pants on because you can see the line and if anyone has a tip for that then please tell me because it really drives me mad that I can't wear stuff like this with jeans. Um, so yeah and then the next top I got, it's quite similar with the straps, well it's the same material of the straps, they're not similar at all. Um, and it looks like this, this is again really hard to show and it looks really tiny but it's not that tiny. It goes up here, like, sort of sits on your collarbones to the straps. And I got it in this baby blue colour. They have so many pastel colours of it and I just couldn't decide which to get. But I got this one and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I got this colour. I have it in lilac and um, I think a nudie colour. I have a black and white one as well, which I want and I couldn't decide, but I got this one. And they are 9 99 I think. And then this was probably my splurge of the month. Um, I got some riding pants from American Apparel and I'm not massively sure on them yet but I've seen them on a few people and they just look so nice. Um, so I got these and I went on the website, I had no intention of buying them, I just wanted to see how much they were. Um, but as soon as I logged on it said 30% off with discount code SPRING something, I don't know if it's still on or not. Um, so I got these and I feel really but I got them in this colour because I absolutely love the colour. I think they're gorgeous. It's sort of, I'd say it's a, it's not pink. It's coming up quite pink on camera. But it's more orangey peach. 
it does have a really like weird name for the colour but I can't remember what they are. I got them in a size extra small and then this is the bit that's sort of inside your leg. They are really super super high waisted which I always like so that's them. I think they're originally £60 which is like ridiculous money. I ended up paying 40 I think it was 46 which again is still ridiculous for a pair of trousers and I'm not massively sure on either so I'm gonna have to like try a few outfits on see what I think but yeah that's them and then my last two things are shoes and they're both the same in different colours um again if you follow me on Instagram you'll know how much I wanted these shoes from River Island and they're just sold out everywhere like everywhere and River Island told me they won't be coming back in and I was absolutely gutted so I went on eBay and I searched, I think I searched his like cleated um, chunky platform and they came up but I looked, the only ones I had was black or black and white. So I went for these ones, now these are not going to be everyone's taste um, but they look like this and I got the white ones with the black platform and the black heel. They are extremely chunky and massive. I also had to get them in a size 4 because I'm a size free usually but they only had a size 4 the smallest and I really really wanted them so I got them um, I'll leave the link to the seller below who sells these and obviously you have the little ankle thing around your ankle I have, I have wore these ones already and I'm not going to lie they absolutely killed my feet but I suppose they just need breaking in and they were I don't know if I've said this already but they were 39 99 so I thought to put it on eBay and then I was having a look and I found the colour that were the same as River Island and I needed them, I couldn't not have them. So I got them. And they're these beautiful pink ones. I mean, how cute are they? They're so girly, like the pink and white together. And I'm just in love. And they have the little strap like the other ones do. And again they look beautiful on. I need to Instagram a picture of these ones because I haven't yet. So by the time you have watched this video and gone on my Instagram, there will be a picture of these on. So if you like them, make sure you like the picture. And I'll know that you've come from YouTube. Um, so yeah, they're exactly the same, just a different colour and they're just amazing. They were the same price again, but I'll link both the sellers for you below if you want to buy either colour. And like I said, they have them in black as well, but these ones are just perfect. The colours are just amazing. They won't be to everyone's taste, but I am massively. Thank you for watching, everyone. It was probably a long one. I don't know how long it is, but I'll need to edit it all out and find out how long it is, but that makes no difference to you. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. It's been a lack of videos recently. It's just been so hard with me working so much. But like I said, I will leave all the links to any website I've mentioned down below and also the links to the eBay sellers and my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and my blog also because I've mentioned that because I've got quite a few outfit posts up recently. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video everyone. Bye!